Hey guys, if you've made it this far, you're probably trying to use Cursor Pro without limits, but ran into that annoying many free trials error. Well, great news. I found a solution where you don't even need to create accounts. The script I'm about to share automates the entire process, from resetting IDs to creating an account for you without you having to do anything, and that's absolutely insane. Even better, this method works on the latest versions of Cursor Pro that you download directly from the official website. And now, it's even possible to use Claude Sonnet 3.7 with it, which is amazing. After a lot of testing, I finally found the perfect method. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. But wait, this will only work if you subscribe to the channel. Seriously, if you don't subscribe, there's a high chance it won't work. Plus, we post updated videos every month teaching you how to use Cursor Pro Unlimited, so you won't miss any updates. Cursor Pro is always evolving, and staying updated is crucial. In fact, in our last video, only 1% of the viewers didn't subscribe. So don't be that 1%. Also, in our previous video, we received some comments about new issues, like this one from our friend at Quick Compare Official. Hi, today new error unauthorized request. Please make a solution video, big need this software. We saw your messages and we're here to help. So, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is head over to the new GitHub repository. I've dropped the link in the description, and yes, I've already checked the files, so you can use them without any worries. But if you still have any doubts, feel free to analyze the code yourself to make sure everything is safe. Now, once you're on the repository page, scroll down to the README section of the Cursor Free VIP project. You'll notice that it's working on the latest versions, including 0.46.10. So no need to mess with outdated versions anymore. After that, go over to the official Cursor Pro website and download the latest version from there. This is super important. Just install it directly from the official site, just like I'm doing here. In the previous video, we had to follow multiple steps to get an older version, but now that's completely unnecessary. Just grab the latest one and you're good to go. Once that's done, Go back to the repository and scroll down to the How to Use section. There, you'll see different scripts available. Just copy the Windows version. Now, I personally only use Windows, and it worked flawlessly for me. If you're on Linux or Mac, give it a shot and let me know in the comments if it works for you too. Now with the script copied, open PowerShell as an administrator. And listen, this is really important. I got a lot of comments from people saying they had errors. And in almost every case, they simply didn't run it as admin. So don't skip this step. With PowerShell open, just paste the script and hit enter. The script will install a small application on your computer. And once that's done, you won't even need to go back to the repository again. From that point on, all you have to do is open the executable from your files, and you'll be able to access Cursor Pro way faster. After the installation finishes, a new terminal window will pop up, and that's where we'll move on to the next step. With the new terminal window open, you'll notice a list of options ranging from 0 to 6, each offering some really useful functions. We have things like Reset Machine ID, Register New Cursor Account, and even Disable Cursor Auto Update. If you check your Downloads folder, you'll also see that the executable is now saved there. From now on, whenever you need to access it again, just double-click the file, and the menu with all these options will open automatically. Now, in the terminal, we're going to press 1 and hit Enter. This will reset the Cursor Machine ID on our system, making sure Cursor Pro can't recognize our computer. This step is crucial because it allows us to create multiple accounts without triggering the dreaded Many Free Trials error. Once that's done, we're going to press 2 and hit Enter to register a new Cursor Pro account. But before running this step, make sure you've logged out of Cursor Pro on your computer. As soon as you select Option 2, you'll see that a new Chrome window opens up on your computer. And here's where the real magic happens. The script will automatically create an account for you. This is absolutely insane. I'm not typing anything on my keyboard. 
The script is handling everything, entering the email and password all on its own. All we need to do now is wait. The script will generate a password for you, and if you look at the terminal logs, you'll see everything happening in real time. It will even enter the verification code that gets sent to the email. Now the first attempt failed for me, but I just waited a few more seconds. And the script correctly entered the verification code on its own. The script will also automatically log the new account into the cursor app, so you won't need to do anything manually. You can also see the account details in the Google Chrome window that opened. Pretty cool, right? Once that step is completed, just press Enter to continue. Now let's use option 4 to close the application and then reopen it to check if the newly registered account is successfully logged in. Let's press 4 in the terminal to complete this step, okay? Once we press 4, we can see that the cursor app has successfully closed. Now that the app is closed, let's move on to the final step of this tutorial. We're going to press 6 to disable cursor auto update. I like doing this because Cursor Pro updates frequently. And in a future update, they might patch this unlimited accounts method. For me, when I select this option, it doesn't seem to work, but it might work for you. So give it a shot. All right, after completing all the steps, let's open the Cursor app again to check if everything is working. Once it's open, go to the settings and verify if we are logged in with the email generated by the script. And yes, we are. To confirm, I'll reopen the script and compare the emails. And they match perfectly. Pretty cool, right? Now, for the final test, let's send a message in Chat Agent to ensure that everything is working smoothly. Great job, everyone. If you made it this far, leave a comment to let me know that it worked for you. And if you ran into any issues, let me know as well. I'll be posting new updated videos to make sure you can always create unlimited cursor accounts. Thanks for watching and goodbye. See you soon.